As we all know, the piano is a percussive instrument with a mechanism that does not allow it to connect two notes like a string or woodwind instrument could. What you're hearing when someone produces a singing-like quality on the piano is essentially a manipulation of time and sound. Language can be very limiting sometimes because the association that one has with the particular word would be entirely personal. Considering this, I'd like to suggest that we substitute the term playing legato to sounding legato. Welcome back to Joy of Practicing. I'm your host, Ferdi Talan. Sounding legato can be achieved by a myriad of options. It all depends on what you are trying to convey contextually. Let's go over some of the tricks. How would you like it if I talk like this? Not very much, I suppose. This is the equivalent of the hammer striking the string with the same intensity and speed each and every time. It does not make for a legato sound. You have to figure out the hills and valleys of a phrase, and this will serve as a blueprint for you to figure out which notes are active and which notes are passive. I'm gonna play this passage once, legato, without any pedal, but without any consideration of active and passive. what's going on in the melody. That's what's going on, right? Now, on the right hand, if you make this all active, it sounds just horrible. It's, it's, it just doesn't really do anything. So I'll try to exaggerate and slow it down so you can hear and see. So you get when in doubt. Sing it the way you want to hear it, and you'll find the grouping and the timing for the phrase. The only thing that I'm doing to the sound, if I try and physically connect the notes and play legato, is I'm choking it. And as you know, I could be here and have a completely free association to my way. I don't have to keep on pressing. It's unnecessary. Then I can free it and I can be anywhere else. I had quite a bit of a challenge with this um, with this movement because I can't hear it for a very long time what I want in my head. But there's like so many different ways of doing it. You could do it or you could do it options depending on how you hear it, but that's how achieving the sounding legato is to figure out where the hills and valleys are. This is active, 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 and the rest are passive. Or if you wanted to phrase it the other way, then it would be active. For a certain effect, 
you can stay longer on each note and overlap them a little bit. This situation, usually, not all of the time, also calls for a wider and flat surface of the finger. This is one of the effects that I love to use. And I showed you earlier that you could be here and you're completely free. And the idea to overlap is not to press and overlap, but to just stay a little longer and overlap the notes, but you don't have to press it. It may be counterintuitive, but the most important aspect in sounding legato is actually spacing. This is what I was showing you when some of you came back and said, why am I playing staccato when the instruction is to sound legato? Look at this here. At the speed of which this etude is intended for, it will be impossible to do if you play legato. The very most benefit of spacing is that it teaches your hands and arms where to be for each and every note. And gradually the spaces between them disappears and your hands and fingers know how to just shift the weights between the notes. And this choreography of shifting the weight just from one finger to the next is what you're practicing. There are two kinds of listening when you're in the practice room. First is your active inner listening. The second is to listen with your body. In both, you anticipate. It's like being a clairvoyant. You hear it before it happens. This is what I mean when you're listening with your body, but you're anticipating, so you're already releasing the last one and you're going over here. just gets there ahead of you so you don't get some of you may ask why I haven't mentioned the pedal and the truth is, even if you slap the pedal on, but you did not consider any of the things that we just discussed, it's not gonna give you the legato sound that you want. I used to hide a lot with pedals, but then I've discovered that the function of a pedal is not just to connect where you can't, but also to give color differentiation and also to give some glow to some notes when it's needed. I hope this gives you a fresh perspective of how to sound legato. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please send them to... I'm your host, Ferry Talan. Until next time.